Prior to do the sanding, we may as well go ahead and put a nice little hole so that our strap can go on there and we can have a pull tab for it. To set this up, you're gonna need a pencil. You're also gonna need your 300 mil ruler, like so. From here, come down and measure how long it is between the start or the end of your doorstop and where that tilts down. For me, I'm gonna go, it measures up at just on 20 millimeters. I'm gonna do a mark there at 20 millimeters, like so. I will then grab my square as always. Now, if you're lucky enough to have access to smaller squares, there's a time and a place for a smaller square. Otherwise, your large square will work just as well. So for me, I'm gonna come across, place that on there, and bring that to where I need it, like so. Making sure that's nice and firmly down, I'm gonna draw my line across there. Now I've got my line going across the top of my the top of my piece there. I'm gonna come across now and I'm gonna mark down and come from one corner to the other. We're gonna use the metal rule for that. So I'm pretty much going on the flat here from the tip of this line that I just drew to the corner here. Now, I'm not gonna draw the whole way because it just means I've got more to clean up later. I'm just gonna set that up and just give me a nice mark coming through the center there. I'm gonna repeat that process on the other side. So once again, trying to be as exact as possible, getting it where you need it, and then drawing that line. Now, if you've done that accurately, you should be able to come through and see that this is right in the center of that nice little central piece coming through there, which really allows you to make sure and double check that that's where it wants to be. Perfect. From here, let's drill that out with a two and a half millimeter drill bit. For this, I'd recommend using a drill press. So we're back over here at the drill press and the very first thing you need to do is throw on some safety glasses and tie up that long hair and remove anything else that could be a potential danger such as any jewelry or long baggy loose clothing. After you've gone and thrown those on, what you wanna come through and do is notice that I've actually lowered the drill head down. Sometimes it's easier to lower the drill head down so that you're not having to move things as far. Following that, when we're setting this drill press up is we need to know how far we wanna drill in because we don't wanna drill through the whole way. That would be a bit of a mistake. So with a lot of drill presses, you can actually set the depth. Now ask your teacher um, how to set the depth on your one because each drill is slightly different. For me, I've got this nice little notch, this nice little red handle up the back here, and I can just bring this down to a depth of which I'm happy at. And I'm gonna go probably about one centimeter into my piece, because we're just drilling a bit of a pilot hole here. We are drilling a pilot hole, and that pilot hole is gonna house the screw when we put the tag in. So for that, coming in, I'm just gonna tighten this up. And then if you watch this, that is as far down as that's gonna go, unless of course I force it. And if you guys are trying to force this to get past them and stopping, always check the depth stop on your drill there. From there, you need to go through and clamp it down. Now, remember my drill is somewhat of an interesting specimen and has its own little clamping system. After you've done that, you wanna make sure that the drill piece is actually going where you want it to be. So to do that, just bring your drill down and touch your timber, making sure that it's meeting then that central X spot in the center of that X. Begin the process. I'm gonna drill on, drill down nice and slowly. You can unclamp it there and then come across and you can see that that hole is very central as to where it needs to be. Now I didn't mention it earlier, but you are drilling with a two and a half millimeter drill bit. 